I want to talk about the secret of winning. And everyone likes to win. Really and truly, you want to win in your life. If you check, you want to win in your health. You want to win in your family. No. And today I want to tell you the secret of winning. The secret of winning is to approach life knowing you already won. Never forget that even though the battle that you will face in life may be in the future, your victory is in the past. You've already won. There are at least four major battles that the believer has already won. Number one, you have victory over the devil, over principalities and powers. First John chapter 4 verse 4. But you belong to God, my dear children. You have already won a victory over those people. Because the spirit who lives in you is greater than the spirit who lives in the world. When you get born again, the Holy Spirit comes to dwell inside of you. He says that spirit who lives inside of you is greater than the spirit who lives in the world. Now, everything you see in the world, the devil, his cohorts, and all who follow him, he says there is a spirit in you that is greater than the spirit in them. Every evil in this world has a source. You must appreciate that. They have a source. That source is the devil. He says, you, your source, is greater than them. Number two victory that we have is victory over death. 1 Corinthians 15, 54. He says, then when our dying bodies have been transformed into bodies that will never die, one day we'll get bodies that will never die. <laughs> the scripture will be fulfilled. Death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is, where is your victory? And oh, death, where is your sting? For, the, for sin is the sting that results in death, and the Lord gives sin his power. Verse 57, but thank God, he gives us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, dear brothers and sisters, be strong, immovable, always walk enthusiastically for the Lord. For you know that nothing the Lord, I do for the Lord, is ever useless. He says, because God has given you victory over sin and death, what should you do now? Be strong. The next thing that we have victory over is victory over sin. Romans chapter 6, verse 6. We know that our old selves we are crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin. We won the battle over sin. Listen to this. Many times as believers, we are always thinking about sin. And I've seen sin in this perspective. We won. And the last one we don't want to focus on is victory in every situation. And Jesus knew that that challenge would come. So he said in the book of John, chapter 16, verse 33, he says, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Take ads. He says, I know this is, these things will trouble your mind. I know you, you'll be so bored about these trials. But you need to know that these things have been overcome already. I have. You know, he was already ahead of them. So when he says, I have, is on your behalf. I have on your behalf. We have crushed these things. I have overcome them. You, you, you need to approach these things knowing that you are already an overcomer. Everything that seems to bother you, they have one source. Why should you fear the product when the producer has already been captured? First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. He says, Be alert and super minded. Your enemy, the devil, 
he prowls around like a roaring lion. He's looking for someone to devour. And what did he say you should do? He said you should resist him just standing firm in faith. Just hold fast to your belief. But you just don't forget. You want him.